Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Operator Thogar on both normal and heroic difficulty in the Black Rock Foundry. And this is the train boss. Oh yeah. And it's fucking funny as hell. <laughs> it's so funny because there's trains... It's not funny for you because you're always dead the yeah, entire time. Not all the time. When I'm no, on melee, it's fine. I was dying quite a lot. But yeah. basically trains come throughout the room, they'll either drop off ads or they'll knock you over and you'll instantly die. It's very fucking funny, but it's an awesome fight. Now for this encounter, you do want to bring two tanks... In a 10-man comp, bring two to three healers. In a 30-man composition, we're bringing five or six healers. An AoE and cleave DPS will probably be shine here because there are a lot of adds to kill. Now, before we talk about the trains or the adds, let's just quickly cover Thogar. Now, here I have a tank debuff called Enkindle that will last for 25 seconds. Now, this will just deal ticking damage over time, and it basically makes it so it'll just deal more and more damage. Pretty simple. Just taunt. Taunt on two, or whenever you can. Now for the raid to worry about, the boss will actually throw grenades at people. When this grenade lands at your feet, it'll start dragging you towards the middle of this AoE circle. What you need to make sure that you do is that you react to it very, very quickly, as the pull generally seems to become stronger and stronger the longer you're stood inside it. The ticking damage itself isn't very high, but it can be a little bit frustrating, so make sure that you are stood away from the boss so it doesn't spawn in melee. Now the boss also has a permanent aura that buffs nearby adds and it increases their damage done by 10%, their haste by 5%, and their movement speed by 10%, and this does constantly tick and stack up so this just means when ads are up kill ads that's yeah. pretty much the whole fight now as you may have noticed this encounter does actually take place on four sets of train tracks and throughout the fight trains will go passing through along these tracks and if you are hit by them you will be one shot unless you have some form of immunity or really 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 large damage reduction now some of the trains will just flat out go straight through and other the trains will stop drop off some ads and then leave now the order in which the trains come through is exactly the same every single time it never changes so the more that you do this fight the more you'll learn the more you'll get used to the patterns and to be honest the easier dodging the trains itself will actually become we're not going to go through the exact patterns and what happens exactly at what moment we're going to talk about all the individual carts and all the individual mobs you'll have to deal with in this fight and how you deal with certain situations. But before we go into that, to actually dodge and know which trains are coming in for a first time user on this fight, you could use add-ons. There's something floating about called Thogar Assist. This may well help you. We decided not to use it. We didn't really need it because to be honest, the best way of doing it is just looking at the doors. Position yourself so you're always looking at the doors because if a door opens on one side, that means it's also open on the other side and a train's about to go through on that track. Exactly. So there's an open door, get the fuck out of that lane. Simple as that. Now there are three different types of train which will stop off, drop off some ads, or just some other thing that you need to deal with. And the first of which is the small ad train. Now this train will come in and drop off two different types of ads that you need to AoE down as soon as possible. You've got the Iron Raiders and these are just like melee mobs and when you pick them up, they kind of do a little bit of a dot to your tank. It, does, it doesn't do anything. It's pretty pathetic. If it's, you kill these ads off quickly, they're fine. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. you got these Iron Crack shots and they do ranged damage to your tank, which makes it a little bit more awkward to pick up. If you have a mass grip, it's so nice. Just grip them in, AoE them down, nothing to worry about. Now, both of these ads also have an ability called Throw Grenade. Um, if you don't engage them in combat, they'll generally start lobbing grenades at you, and these grenades do a fair amount of damage, and they kind of do splash damage as well. The only time that this will actually happen is when you fucked up so bad it's a wipe anyway. So you don't need to know a lot about it. Just know that if you do screw up on this fight, the ads are going to be very angry with you. Now, on the big ad train, this is where you're going to have the most damage dealing um, mob that you need to deal with in the fight, which is the Man at Arms. Now, this guy has two abilities. He'll do a small amount of AoE damage in melee, not anything really to cry over. However, he has something called Iron Bellow, and this does a large amount of AoE damage to the entire raid. You cannot interrupt or stun any of these abilities, so you need to kill the Man at Arms as soon as you possibly can, because of course the boss is applying a damage increase stack on that mob, so eventually that ability is going to do more and more damage to your raid and eventually will one-shot you. Using healing cooldowns for this mob is the best time to use it. There's no other point in the fight where you'll get as much efficiency. Another ad that will spawn on this big ad train is a fire mender. They only have one ability called cauterizing bolt. Now after a cast, this will heal an ally and all allies within five yards of that target for 20% of their total health instantly and then 30% over 10 seconds. You do need to interrupt this. This is an interruptible cast, but as we said, Thogar's stacking damage buff also reduces cast time, so once again, she is pretty much a primary target as well. Also with the big ad train, you'll probably get a little mix of the little ads as well, just AoE cleave them down, and of course, the train will just move off, kill off all those ads, and you've dealt with it wonderfully. 
Now the other train you need to worry about is the cannon train. Now this train will not spawn any ads into the encounter area, instead it just has a gunnery sergeant in a cannon shooting grenades at a fixated player. When they are hit by these grenades it will spawn a bomb on their location. When these bombs land they'll actually deal damage to that player and they'll also knock you back a little bit so you need to make sure that while you are fixated you run as much as you possibly can and that should avoid the majority of the damage that's going to hit you. Now after the bombs have laid around for about 30 seconds, they will detonate and deal a ton of fire damage to anyone within 9 yards. So while these bombs are down, keep away from them as much as you possibly can and when they do eventually detonate, make sure they don't explode on your face. Now this gunnery sergeant can actually fixate on melee and of course because all the melee are stacked up on one point, you've got to be very very quick at reacting. Just make sure you take away as soon as possible and if any bombs do land in melee, make sure you're not there 30 seconds later otherwise you'll get fucked over. Now this gunnery sergeant can only be hit by ranged attacks, so all of your ranged DPS do want to switch to him. He is number one priority. Get him down as soon as possible and then you'll have no problems whatsoever. And the majority of the time the cannon train will come in on its own, however you will have one point in the fight where you'll have two cannon trains to deal with the exact same time. So it becomes even more important at this point that you try and place the bombs out of the raid as much as you possibly can, ideally at either end of the room. Now that's all the actual types of trains that you'll get, all the other trains will just be racing through the room and killing all your scrubs, but there's one last situation that you need to be aware of where the raid actually needs to split. Now at one point in the fight, two small ad trains will come along the two central lines and the ads will spawn at either side of the room. Now because you need to pick up both sets of ads, otherwise they'll be throwing a bunch of, you know, grenades at you, which will fucking kill you, you need to split your raid into two groups at this point. Make sure you assign who is going where before the fight, so you don't accidentally have all your DPS on one side and all the healers on the other without a tank or whatever. Send one tank, a couple healers, and a split DPS on either side of this. Pick up all the ads, kill them, and then the trains will fuck off and then you'll be able to go back to the middle again. Do know that at this point when you do split up, you should try and put Thogar on the tank that has the lowest or no Kindle stacks at all because you don't want one tank to be on one side with Thogar for the next 30 seconds or so, just getting higher and higher in Kindle stacks. So make sure that you either tank swap or just make it so he goes on the lowest in Kindle stacks before you split up. And apart from that, that's all you need to do. It's just about dodging the trains, mainly. Dodge yeah. the trains, AOE the ads. That's the entire fight. It is very fun, though. It's like moving about from all yeah, the trains Yeah, it's a hell of stuff. a fight. It's very, very cool, and I am really fucking terrible at it. So thank you very much <laughs> for watching, guys. I hope this guide helped you out. And if it did, make sure you give us a like. It helps us out a lot. And if you want to see any of our other Blackrock Foundry heroic guides, then make sure you click up on the annotations you see on your screen now, and it will take you straight to those videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.